Thank you very much. So, Peter of England here uh, in the afternoon. The court process is now finished. It is now 20, 20 to 2. 20 to 2 now. Um, there have been many rumours floating around in the courtroom. However, now the process has been um, adjourned. The next meeting, I think, is on the 17th or the 19th of September. 19th of September, here in the same place. Um, the judge, uh, Mr. Muller, Axel Muller, was a disgrace to his profession. And I will now see if I can find a way of having him removed from that bench because no one should exhibit monkey-like behavior in a courtroom where we thought next he would be swinging off the chandeliers and hanging out the windows. I've never seen an individual who's supposed to be a representative, re representation of not only the state but the people behaving in such a disorderly, disgraceful manner. And when someone can't control his temper, when someone is behaving as aggressively as he did, how can he possibly say that he has a calm and impartial and imbalanced perspective to deal with the issue in front of him? It cannot be. So whoever is his boss, whoever's in charge of him, whether we have to go to the Vatican to have him pulled out of there, we'll make sure that his career within either the CDU or wherever he thinks he's going through the glass ceiling here uh, of, uh, shall we say, state control and tyranny gets put on a hold because I assure you this guy is an embarrassment not only to the people but he's an embarrassment to the, the Gestapo-like mechanism which passes for government in this country. So, it won't do you any favours keeping him, yeah? He's too much of a barking animal. So, that being said, I thank once again all the people for coming here. There was around about 170, I counted, uh, started in the court this morning. And by the end of uh, Axel Muller's uh, uh, banishment, I think there was around about 50 still left in the courtroom seated. There was a couple of other individuals, or one at least, that was thrown out trying to express his belief that he had freedom of expression or he had a right to make a comment. Um, so with that being said, thank you everybody for turning up. Uh, the groundswell of opinion here and uh, the support in Germany is just fantastic. If we can do the same in places like Austria, if we can do the same in Switzerland, we can then move this through Europe and try and redress some of the the injustice and the imbalances within the commercial and financial system. And once again, the people have got to show that it's them that are important. They are the ones who are to be listened to and not some opinionated, rabid uh, individual who doesn't have the first connotation or idea about banking, finance or commercial instruments. And the best he could do to disparage Weirbank was to show a picture of Google Earth which showed um, there was a particular type of mail address on a particular type of a street in Manchester. And if that's the best they can come up with, then it shows they're in a very, very difficult position. So thank you, and Peter of England signing off here now in Ravensburg, and I'll make some more posts over the course of the week. Thank you.